Today we're going to take this lovely picture and remove the photo bomber from the background. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. Today we're taking this beautiful picture from my wedding and taking out the photo bomber in the background. I've included a download link in the description so you can follow along with the same photo. To take out photo bombers, we need to use the clone brush tool. We can access this by pressing the letter S on your keyboard or selecting the tool from over here, the clone brush tool. For those of you who aren't familiar with how this tool works, we first need to set a source point. We can do this by holding down Alt or Option and then clicking somewhere on the photo. Now when we begin to paint, it will clone from wherever we set our source point. And just like a regular brush, we can make it bigger with the bracket keys underneath the plus sign on the keyboard. And you can start painting in an exact clone. So that's the basics of how the clone brush tool works. I can press Alt, set a source point, and then begin painting, and it will duplicate whatever was in my source point area. So let's get rid of those. I'll press Command Z and get back to a fresh picture. Before we begin taking out the photo bomber, we should duplicate our layer. We can do this by pressing Command J. So now we have two duplicate layers. That way we can make any changes we want on this top layer, and it will leave our original layer intact. So that way we can go back to the original at any time we want, regardless of whatever changes we make to the top layer. This is called non-destructive editing because we are not destroying our original copy. Now we are ready to begin removing the photo bomber from the background. What we're going to do for this technique is duplicate this wall on top of him. So we can press Alt or Option and click here on the wall and now drag on top of him. I'll press Option again, click, and drag on top of him. Option to set a new source point, and continue dragging over him. Option, set a new source point, and then drag over that. So as you can see, in a couple of seconds, we removed the photo bomber, but it doesn't look very good. It looks very smudgy. This is not what we want. So we are going to press Command Z a couple of times, get back to our original picture, and now we're going to zoom in so we can do some more detailed work. So you can use your trackpad or use Command Plus, and we'll zoom in. And now we can make our brush smaller so we can be more accurate. And we'll also take down the hardness so our line won't be quite so distinct and it'll blend in more with the rest of the wall. So let's go up here to our hardness and drag this down to zero. Now we're ready to begin cloning once again. So let's set a new source point by pressing Option and clicking on the wall. And now we can begin painting over the man again. And we can press Option, set a new source point, paint, and whenever we want, we can set another source point, click, and then start painting on him again. I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger by pressing the bracket keys. Now press Option and click on the wall, and now I'll start painting over him. Option, click on the wall, start painting on him. As you can see, this is looking much better than the first time, and he's really starting to disappear from the photo very effectively. I just need to be careful with like the suit coat over here that I don't get rid of that also. So as you can see, this process takes a little bit and you have to be very careful and set lots of source points, but we're making progress slowly but surely. However, I don't want to bore you with me going through and getting rid of everything. I'm just pressing option, setting source points, and then painting over things. So I'm going to fast forward and cut to the point where I have a finished product. Well, after a few minutes of using the clone brush, that photo bomber is gone. We can see the difference by checking and unchecking this top layer. This is what it did look like, and now he's gone. Just like that, he's out of there. 
That is the power of Affinity Photo. I know this technique can be tedious, but it will work to remove anything from any photo, so it's a worthy tool to keep in your editing arsenal. And if you want to learn more photo editing skills, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We're going to be coming out with some more great tutorials in the future. So hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.